Alright guys, so... It's, uh... Not a very nice day. It's, uh, rather windy. Pretty gloomy. And of course, there's motorcycles. Flying down the street. One motorcycle. And, uh... Yeah, this is kind of, uh, the highlight of, uh, the day. <laughs> a motorcycle going by, because otherwise today's been pretty, uh, gloomy and quiet. Yeah, gray skies, gloomy. It hasn't been raining, surprisingly, but it looks really, really bad. Last night we had, uh, a lot of wind, a little bit of rain... The dirt is a little bit soft, moist, but not not very much. Uh, not very much moisture in it, but enough that the wind has taken a taken a toll on the garden. So as you guys can see, I got one stake in, another stake in for the tomatoes. Kind of saved those. You got some more seeds on this little guy, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to find out what I can do with those things. Maybe use them for next season to plant some uh, romaine lettuce. The butternut squash is uh, still doing pretty good. I think we'll make my parents happy with those. The peppers. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but there's some bits of soil here that I've built up around the plants kinda helped them stand up a lot of these plants were uh, flat on the ground basically completely uprooted this is what's left of the zucchini only got one left I don't know if I'm gonna pull it right now or leave it for another couple of days or not so um, the pumpkin, we've got three of them there. One, two, three. There are some new leaves developing right in this region here and over here. So those should help the pumpkins make it through to uh, the end of the month, hopefully, maybe into October, so that we can... Uh, harvest at least the three of those and uh, aside from all of that destruction I mean as you guys can see that is straight up that is not some of these are worth fixing some of them are not I've been f pulling some of the beet out but not a whole lot. I'm probably going to start doing more of those sooner than later. Because they are, they are pretty big. I don't know if I can show you guys some or not, but these are all... I mean, there's lots there, but because they're so tightly pressed in there, they didn't really grow all that well, so we'll end up with a lot of beet, but mostly small ones. There are some rather large ones. I'll have to find those a little bit later and show you guys in another video of me harvesting quite a bit. The uh, yellow beans, well the plants are turning yellow. I've been watering them like crazy and doesn't seem to be helping a whole lot so I think those are kind of on their way out the door. This thing I don't know what happened. It is really soft, really mushy. I had to cut it off yesterday. This was the uh, from the spaghetti squash plant. I don't know, it just, for whatever reason, it's, it's really bad. Uh, we've got some more future pickles, cucumbers here couple of them. I don't know if they'll actually be any good. I picked the other ones already. 
So here's the spaghetti squash. We've got three, one over there, and two here. This plant has really gone downhill as well. I'm going to start snipping off a lot of the flowers just because we're already into uh, the first week of September. So there's no real point in letting anything else uh, bloom. It's just going to take all the resources away from the, the current ones. Plus with that other one being cut off from right here, I don't know if there is a problem with this plant or just a problem with that spaghetti squash. But the other three, I've checked them for the, you know, how they feel. They, they're firm, so they seem okay. And as you can see, the corn, now that I weeded everything, is just laying flat. And I can't do anything to save those unless I put up stakes and tie strings around every single one of them. However, here's the funny thing. It's kind of creepy, actually. That is supposed to be corn. It is actually dirt. Black dirt and a little bit of brown dirt in there. I took the spade and dug through them. They're really soft and mushy, so I'm not entirely sure what happened to that. But if anyone knows how corn turns into dirt, like the actual cob of corn turns into dirt, let me know. Because that just seems strange to me. This one... That one actually looks pretty decent, but I don't think it's quite ready yet. But that one might be a little bit edible. Um, somewhat edible. A little bit. A little portion of it will be edible, let's put it that way. So, yeah, there's a lot of good things and bad things going on. But the wind and the rain has just decimated everything, basically. Other than stuff growing in the ground. So, the beets are probably the only thing. Well, beets and the beans. Probably the only thing that's gotten away rather unscathed. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I know that this is just going to be a, a straight up video of me running around through everything, but got lots of peppers. Lots and lots and lots of peppers. So, they're not very big, but I think we'll probably just chop them up and maybe use them in a, a stir fry or something but yeah this is this is what you guys have to look forward to if your garden is out in the open and it's really windy it's just gonna kinda take its toll on your uh, plants unless you stick them nice I actually hammered these in so I've just got the two there the second ones right there so, the rings, the metal rings, they're bent like crazy. They're not, they're not going to hold up any longer, so I had to use the sticks um, in the ground to hold them up. So yeah, that's the update for today. So, anyway, stay tuned guys, and uh, I'll be back with some more uh, garden shenanigans for this hobby garden during the uh, unfortunate pandemic.